नमस्कार वन मोर केस इन रिग्रेशन क्लासिकल अप्रोच दिस टाइम वी हैव अ केस वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट वेन नथिंग हैज बीन आस्ट बी क्लियरली दिस इज समवट प्रैक्टिकल केस वी डोंट नो विच इज वेरिएबल एक्स विच इज वेरिएबल वाई इट इज अपॉन अस टू असाइन द साइन एक्स एंड वाई ऑल्सो then the question is how to recognize on the basis of the content of the question that which should be treated as dependent variable and which should be treated as independent variable and why so the benefit to a student in this kind of problem is this kind of problem is always one sided we need to calculate only one coefficient of regression we need to find out only one line of regression and we need to find out the estimated value of only one dependent variable but the important thing is to recognize correctly the dependent as well as independent variable if as a student we make any error in determining the dependent and independent variable then the whole solution will be wrong and in real life also we have to face this kind of problems only in real life we have to decide which should be dependent variable and the simple thing is the variable for which we need to find out the estimated uh, estimated value becomes the dependent variable and the variable the another value is available for which becomes the independent variable this is very simple thing to remember so as a student you need to remember that the variable for which we need to find out the estimated value becomes the dependent variable and another automatically becomes the independent variable in this case it is given that marks given by two judges to seven players are as follows the data is actually rather the um, information is about uh, any contest of plays and there are two judges who have already given the marks to seven plays at the time of the eighth play at the time of the eighth play judge b was absent for whatever reason he may have got bored after watching seven plays just joking but for whatever reason at the time of eighth play right play judge b was absent judge a has given 40 marks to the eighth play judge a was alone after watching the play judge a has given 40 marks to the eighth play estimate the marks judge b would have given to the eighth play had he been present now we need to find out the estimated marks judge b would have given to the eighth play had he been present so in this case judge b or the series of judge b becomes the dependent variable because eighth value of this series is available on the basis of that we need to find out eighth value of this series so this is dependent series now to assign this sign is upon us and we are going to follow the axiom of mathematics dependent variable is y independent variable is x so let marks by judge a b x and marks by judge b so this is y now and this automatically becomes x and now it is upon us which path should we select since these values are comparatively larger i would prefer to go with deviations if possible we are going to use the deviations taken from mean if the two means are integer values if any one of the mean is not an integer that means fraction we would prefer the path of deviations from assumed mean let's calculate 
This is sigma x, this is sigma y. So x bar will be 301 divided by 7. So it is 43. X bar is integer at least. Y bar will be 266 divided by 7. So it is also integer value 38. Since x bar and y bar means are integer values, I suggest to take the path of deviations from arithmetic mean. Let's take x minus x bar and that will be nothing but x minus 43. 46 minus 43 is 3, 42 minus 43 is minus 1, 44 minus 43 is 1, 40 minus 43 is minus 3, 43 minus 43 is 0, 41 minus 43 is 2, negative, 45 minus 43 is positive. 2. Positive total is 3 plus 1, 4 plus 2, 6 and negative total is also 6. So summation is 0 and summation of the deviations taken from mean must be 0. This is actually 0 we have verified that means this column is fully correct. Let's take y minus y bar, y minus 38. 40 minus 38, 2, 38 minus 38, 0, 36 minus 38, minus 2, 35 minus 38, minus 3. 39 minus 38 positive 1, 37 minus 38 minus 1, 41 minus 38 positive 3. 3 plus 2 plus 1 positive 6, negative 6, 0, sigma y minus y bar. So both the columns are correct. Now product of these two columns, x minus x bar into y minus y bar. 3 into 2, 6, 0 into anything, 0, minus 2 into 1, minus 2, minus 3 into minus 3, 9. 0 into anything 0, minus 1 into minus 2 is 2, 3 into 2 is 6, <coughs> 23 minus 2, it is 21, positive 23, negative 2, so total comes to 21, sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar or the summation of the products of the deviations taken from arithmetic mean. Now it is turn of x minus x bar the whole square. 3 square 9, 1 square 1, minus 1 square 1, minus 3 square 9, 0, 4 and 4. 28 is the total. And the last column. Now, do we need y minus y bar the whole square column? Since y is dependent variable, we need to find only the estimated value of y. In case of that, we need to calculate BYX, that means the denominator of the formula will cover only X. That means we don't need the column of Y minus Y bar the whole square. So we are not going to prepare that column. We need only column only when we need to find out both the coefficients of regression. But in this case, we need to find out the coefficient of regression of Y on X only. Then why should we prepare that column? Okay, B Y X, the coefficient of regression of Y on X of dependent variable on independent variable, sigma X minus X bar square into Y minus Y bar upon sigma X minus X bar the whole square. That is 23 divided by 28. So B Y X comes to 23. No, it is not 23, that is 21. I am very sorry. 21. That means 7 is common factor. 3 by 4. That is 0 0.75. Now we find, need to find out the line of regression of Y on X. Y cap is A plus B X. Where B is B Y X. And formula of A is Y bar minus B Y X into X bar. Y bar is 38 minus 0.75 into 43. So it is 38 minus 14 to 0.75 is 30 and 3 into 0.75 is point, uh, 2.25. So it is 32.25. And that means A equals to 5.75. Y cap equals to 5.75 plus 0.75 x that is the line of regression of y on x now when x equals to 40 8 value of x is 40 
So y cap that is 8 value of y equals to 5.75 plus 0.75 into 40 that is 5.75 plus 30 that is 35.75 we believe that the marks are written in the integer form only so 8 or estimated value of y is approximately 36 that means now we can say that B would have given 36 marks to the 8 player rather judge B judge B would have given 36 marks to the 8th player so in this case on the basis of the say language used in the question we first of all determined which should be out of these two treated as dependent variable but the formula is very simple just one sentence the variable for which we need to find out the estimated value becomes the dependent variable and the another automatically becomes the dependent variable and in this kind of cases we don't need to find out all the two coefficients of regression as well as all the two lines of regression mm -hmm. that's it thank you very much